John chapter 15, verses 5 to 8 and 16 to 17. I am the vine, you are the branches. The one who remains in me and I in him bears much fruit, because apart from me you can accomplish nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is thrown out like a branch and dries up, and such branches are gathered up and thrown into the fire and are burned up. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you want and it will be done for you. My Father is honored by this, that you bear much fruit and show that you are my disciples. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that remains so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. This I command you, to love one another. Galatians 5 Verses 22 to 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Against such things there is no law. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Daily Devotions from the Revival Time Assembly Studios, San Fernando, Trinidad, the West Indies. I like to start off by giving God thanks thanking him for bringing you here, for bringing me here, because it means that he has purpose, he has plans for us still to accomplish on this earth. So as we go through today, let's seek to find out what his purpose is for us today, and let's seek to cooperate with him in accomplishing that. I'd also like to thank the senior pastors, my parents, Reverend Lloyd and Norma Hart, for giving me this opportunity to share with you once again. So yesterday, I promised to give you an update. And let's see how many of you had a guess and would have figured out that I am going to show you once again our passion fruit arbor that I started and showed you last time you were with me. So let's go. Let me just get from behind the lens and show you the passion fruit arbor as it is now a few months later. So I'm walking towards the arbor right now and if you recall last time you saw it there were just some short vines on these bamboo poles. I think we even just had uh, the six poles. Now we've added center poles as well and a couple at the top. Why have we done that? Because as we continue to train our vines the vines have continued to grow and as vines do, they grow and they spread. So you can see, we have a really good set of growth. And of course, one of the things that everyone who plants something looks for, we're coming to it shortly. Yes, here we are. First of all, we have some flowers. So you can see the flowers there. And what we all look forward to, fruit on the vine. So there it is. Some more flowers and some more fruit. This has happened in the space of a few months and we still have a lot of growth to go in our arbor. So it's now producing fruit which is what we hope for and work towards all these months. It is such a joy to see something that we've planted go through the stages, flowering and eventually fruiting. And then we can pick that fruit and eat it, or as in the case of passion fruit, uh, make passion fruit juice with it. So, you know, similarly, there is that great sense of pride and joy, I'm sure, that comes to our Heavenly Father. When He sees us grow from newborn babes, he sees us studying his word. He sees us fellowshipping with him. He takes us through different situations and he sees our faith begin to grow. He sees the fruit of the Spirit start to become evident in our lives. As we read in our text this morning, the fruit of the Spirit, a love, joy, peace, gentleness, goodness, meekness, so on. You know, these are the characteristics that God wants to see develop in our lives as Christians. So as we go out today, as we interact with people, 
think about the fruit that should be evident in our lives. There are many things out there, many situations, many people out there that will try to rub us the wrong way, that will try to bring out the old nature. But we have a new nature. We have the fruit of the Spirit that is growing and evident in our lives. And we need to let that fruit, let those characteristics of the Spirit shine through in our lives and in all our daily interactions. So as you go out today, remember, you are a fruit bearer. God wants that fruit to remain in you and to be evident in all your interactions. Have a great day and join me again tomorrow, please God, as I share with you some more lessons from the farm. See ya.